Remove a card, enemies in your next three combats. Uh... I see a way. One, two, three. We're skipping a lot of this though. I like to shop here and everything, but if there's a way, if there's a chance, I'll take it. If there's a chance, I am going to take it. Okay. Plus it makes the beginning battles easier, which is nice. Oh, I was gonna say Artemis for the free upgrades, but Pommel Strike is pretty good too. I'm gonna take Pommel Strike here actually. Usually I would go Artemis, but I'm gonna take Pommel Strike. Lose three HP, find a relic. Remember the first time you would lose HP during combat? It's like a free first round, I like that. I'll take the Golden Idol too. And we're going to, I don't wanna take 20 damage. I'll take injury, I don't mind. We'll just remove it on our first shop. Flex versus Heavy Blade. We have no gaining of strength, so let's go Flex. Ooh, first shot. And we got an Arnments. And a Whirlwind. Definitely taking Whirlwind. Let's do this card removal, get rid of injury. Um, the only other thing I would want here would probably be, honestly, all this is pretty solid. But we're broke. But I think that was good. I think that was a good shot. And we can uh, upgrade Warwind, Flex, Palmer Strike. Upgrading Palmer Strike gives me two cards, which is good. So I think that's our first part. Honestly, Strength wouldn't be bad, though. I'm going to take Palmer Strike, though. A block damage build. I tried W keying those builds, and it never worked for me, I swear. Don't know why. But they never, they never worked for me. Well, they do. Did I just accidentally... I need to stop clicking so hard. I just accidentally started with Bash. I would have rather start with Whirlwind. God damn it. Honestly, Arnaments. I think we do Arnaments here. Another Flex would be phenomenal, but... If I could just upgrade all my cars through Arnaments, I thought like that'd be really good. I'm so mad I'm starting off with freaking Bash. That sucks. Let's Flex into a Whirlwind. Easy. Oh, there's a free flex. Burning pack could be really good, too. I'm gonna go burning pack. I feel like that would be pretty solid. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards, then draw that many. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's like a shuffling of my hand for free. That sounds pretty nice. Um, Let's see here. What do we want to do here? I don't want to bash. Honestly, I don't even want to strike. We're taking 14 damage here. I think I'm going to double defend. And then just hit. So I'll probably just replace you too. But there's no other card. Or a whirlwind wouldn't be bad, actually. We're going to take the 14 damage though. Ooh, gaining five strength here into a whirlwind. That's massive damage. Massive. We'll take that any day. I think that was the best play. And then we take zero damage there because of our card. Or what you call it? Hell yeah. And then honestly, let's burning packed here. We might be able to get something good. A flex is great. And then we just kill. Awesome. Great battle. Great battle. Shrug it off. Just to draw another card. I have a lot of ways of drawing cards. I got Burning Pact. I got Pommel Strike. Shit, let's get a shrug it off. Let's just... Honestly, an Intimidate wouldn't be bad. I'm not gonna lie. Intimidate wouldn't be bad. But I'm gonna just get a shrug it off. Yeah, this is this is a, a solid run so far. I think I'm gonna hit this Elite. Honestly, I could hit this Elite too. But this is if we want more money. We're at 97. We're gonna hit a shop here. Not much we can do at the shop if we don't get more money, right? Then again, there's two question marks here. Which could be battles. We're gonna just go this way with no shop. I don't know. We could We could maybe get something cool on sale. Okay, let's, um, is this the first round I would take or just the first time? Prevent the first time you lose HP. Okay, so we got time. So let's, um, get rid of the defend. Starting off with a bash wouldn't be bad. Get flex, bash into a strike. Which means I don't need to shrug it off either. Okay, cool. Flex, bash into a strike. 
Not bad. Hey, Titan, what's up? So we're not taking damage here because of our awesomeness. So what I think I'm going to do here, I kind of do want to upgrade this whirlwind. I feel like whirlwind would probably do the most damage here. I wish I had a way of getting. Oh, I do have a way of getting. Flex. Oh, do I get burning pack? Flex whirlwind? Because this is going to be 15 damage. I could upgrade it. Let's upgrade it. I forgot he does that. Damn. But it's doing 16 damage now. Yeah, I'm just going to whirlwind here. Or 24 damage, rather. Because of the vulnerability. 18 damage, huh? Let's pommel strike. That sucks. I don't want to do any block. I think he dies next round. We can vulnerable here, and he just dies next round to um, whirlwind. Nice. Dream catcher. Berserk? War cry? We probably just berserk here. Yeah, let's just berserk here. Transformer card. Sure. Transform to strike into something great. Intimidate? I'll take it. Not horrible. 12 damage. We're not going to be dealt. We could berserk here at the start because we're not dealing. We're not going to take damage here. So that two vulnerable means nothing. I think we berserk into a whirlwind just to maximize damage. If we could pull a flex, that'd be great. No flex, unforge. Anyways, let's berserk 15. If I upgrade this, it'll do 16 with two pips, right? So we might as well do that. One extra damage and a free upgrade. Don't mind if I do. And we're not taking damage here, which is awesome. So we can burning pact this defend. Get a flex with a double strike and kill this guy. I guess we could also shrug it off to draw a card, but there's really no card I would like to draw there. 16 damage, huh? Um, Let's intimidate you. Take a little bit less damage. Whirlwind kills, right? 8, 16, 32. I forgot he had a block, but still kills. Free flex, dual wield. Ooh. Dual wield. What power cards do I have? Berserk, huh? Doubling up on Berserk. I would either double up on Berserk or Whirlwind. Realistically. Doubling up on Palma Strike wouldn't be bad, though. I like the utility. Is there any reason for no YouTube stream? I forgot to press the start button. <laughs> forgot to press the start button. Um, only reason. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I think we do dual wield. I'm going to hit up the dual wield. I like the utility of dual wield. Good shop. 162 gold. And, oh, we got the effects of your X cards are increased by two. We definitely take chemical X. A billion percent. We take chemical X here for sure. That's easy. Let's go. And now we can upgrade. Upgrading dual would be pretty nice. But yeah, I think we just do Whirlwind because we did just pick up this. You know what I mean? Whirlwind is going to be our biggest damage here. For sure. So let's just upgrade Whirlwind. Whirlwind is going to be our savior right now. Which I, I kind of do want to just pull Whirlwind here or even pull uh, Berserk. Berserk, Whirlwind are the biggest things we want to pull here. So let's get rid of... Honestly... Bash wouldn't be bad for the vulnerability, just in case. We don't need the defense. If I'm doing anything here, it'd be a bash into a palm of strike, so I'm going to get rid of strike, too. Uh, I'm going to get rid of bash. <laughs> I did not pull what I wanted to pull. Fuck. Nah, we can still maybe get lucky. Let's pommel. Draw two cards. Okay, there's a war win. We didn't get... Uh, we didn't get berserk, which is unfortunate, but... We can honestly, we can still shrug it off. Maybe we'll get a berserk on the shrug off. Or do we? Let's see. Burning pack. <sighs> berserk is zero. Ah, I really want to pull berserk here. Okay, let's do this. Get rid of you. Ornaments are just you. Give me a berserk. Okay, got berserk. Nice. I'll take a berserk. I'll take a berserk. I'll take a berserk. Alright, I'll take a Berserk. Wait, we actually attacked? 
I don't know how we get. Oh my god, we're doing. Oh my god. Okay, I, re I regret getting the berserk. No, we take no damage here. We take no damage here because of uh, fossilized helix. So we're fine, right? Prevent the first time you lose HP. Is the first time just a 10 damage? Or is it this attack? We're about to find out. I'm gonna intimidate you just in case because I'm scared. I'll also defend. And I'm just gonna do. I don't wanna do a wield of strikes, right? So. We're just gonna do that. Um, and let's just do some testing. Do I take seven? Okay, so it's just the seven. Got it. Now I know forever. <laughs> now I know forever. Um, Six. We'll do a block into a flex, into a bash, into a strike. Dig pull a whirlwind here. Which is very nice. I'm not trying to take 12 damage though, that's the thing. Not trying to take the 12 damage. I kind of want to use this Entropic Brew. I could do hella damage to him here. Maybe I just take the 12 damage. I, I think I just take the 12 damage, pull out a, a strength, and, and just whirlwind. Because that'll be like 32 plus the 5 strength, which is going to be massive, right? Not to mention he's taking 50% more damage here. So. Yeah, I think I just do the strength. Do this, see what we get. Healing, very nice. When you would die, very nice. And we just war win. I would like to pull a strength here, honestly. If I could with my pommel strike. Should I, should I try? Should I try? What's in my um, draw pal? Uh, we're just getting a shrug it off, huh? That doesn't help. I'm just gonna war win then. Do hella damage here. Like his health's almost gone, which is fine for me. We can also drink just, just to do it. I'll take that damage. This sucks. Uh, an ornament. Not really anything I want to upgrade. I think I'm just going to bash into a strike. Okay. Let's burning impact is burn. Pull two cards. We can, can we do it with a flex? Nah, it's only attacks and powers. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just flex into a whirlwind. I don't think I can do. I could also dual wield the whirlwind, but this will do 30 damage. What happens if I dual with a whirlwind? Can I play it twice? Oh, never mind. It doesn't do 30. It's a lot more than that. Okay. Reaper, double tap. Don't really care about bludgeon. Reaper can be really nice on a strength build. That's just like hella heal, which is perfect. Not to mention that I have, I have, uh, I have dual wield, so I could dual wield Reaper. Because it exhausts, right? So I could dual wield Reaper so it doesn't exhaust. Or it'll still exhaust, you know, but at least I have two of them, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, double tap can be really good with Whirlwind. Because Whirlwind's our, our biggest DPS right here. So, like, double doing a Whirlwind could be freaking amazing. But survivability-wise, Reaper is just great, you know? You think Reaper is huge here? Okay. But I'm kind of trying to rank up on Reaper, but it seems impossible. No break at any point. Early is horrendous due to RNG. Mid is depends what you pull from. MM and in game is sometimes better, but once in a while, you pull that wild card MMR gift of what the hell is that? How can I win? <laughs> good luck. <laughs> That's all I can say is just good luck. Double the effect in this person. I like that. Upon pickup, transform three cards and upgrade them mid. During boss and elite's comeback, you gain one energy at the start of your turn. Honestly, Sacred Bark can be really good. Transforming three cards. The only cards I, I mean, we do have four strikes that we kind of don't need. So, I mean, I could transform all four, not all four, but I could transform, what is it, three, three of those strikes and upgrade them. I don't really care about the collar. I'm not going to lie. Some of the end game results are amazing. <laughs> you think I do transform cards? I'm not going to lie with you. I like that idea. I can really transform these strikes. We got a solid build. Decent build so far. All right. We're going to transform the strikes. Oh, okay. Offering solid 
really solid actually combustion is is decent not gonna lie not horrible not horrible and then close line is pretty solid too not bad cards at all for strikes really good especially offering um okay we got 137 gold not that much so i'm not really caring about hitting a shop now we can hit a shop later if we really wanted to we'll have even more money as well um oh that's why i did so much because i increased it by two i was wondering i thought it was gonna be 30 damage did hmm. well i don't know more than that <laughs> um maybe we just w key some elites i feel kind of strong i'm not gonna lie we could go both ways actually because we have one two and three elites on this way we gotta can't fire between them as well so that's a little bit more survivability especially if you want to upgrade some cards this one we got literally got three campfires that way and this on this side you, you kind of just don't you got one campfire and then three elites <laughs> that's it this side is way better why would i ever want to go this side i guess for the shop this side we don't get a shop except at the beginning Hey, 137 we maybe find something cool on sale i think we go this way i don't know if i want to hit this elite so early though actually maybe i do if these battles go well that is four battles before an elite you know i mean dimly we got fairy in a bottle right so i think we'll be fine and also want to hit this shop so let's go this way all right what are we replacing we do hella damage here right so we're starting with a whirlwind which is great you get rid of the the fin and probably get rid of the bash i'm not gonna bash into a whirlwind burning pack can be solid we can burning pack this combustion so we don't need this dealing seven damage to all enemies we're only going against one enemy so we don't really need the combustion if i gotta do this pull an offering into a whirlwind damn it okay let's burning packed um shrug it off actually I'm not gonna need the block i don't think yeah eh starting with a berserk isn't horrible that's not horrible actually we don't really need clothesline here because we're not gonna take damage when he does decide to attack us so i think we're just gonna whirlwind yeah i think we're just gonna whirlwind so yeah we're not taking damage here it's in our draw pal. One, two, three, four, five. Offering is going to do all of that. Then again, I do have a pommel strike. Forgot about Reaper too, but we're at full health, so we don't really need the Reaper. Let's pommel strike here, I think. See what cards we get. Uh, If I do five cards here, and I'm able to draw Whirlwind, that would be phenomenal. I did nothing. <laughs> Let's offering. What do I get? A lot of fins in a closed line. Okay. That sucks. A lot. Um. I guess we just try to do the most amount of damage we can here. So I guess we'll just ornaments upgrade the flex into a closed line into a strike. That's all we can do for, for real. I mean, we could Reaper. That's eight damage versus. I mean, the ten damage is better. I mean, the heal's not gonna do anything for us, so we might as well do that. And I guess we'll just block for the hell of it, even though we're not taking damage. Wait, why did we take six damage? Oh, the offering. Okay, I gotta be careful about that actually, because the offering did damage to us. Okay, yeah. Okay, I gotta be careful about that. He's dead here. But yeah, I gotta be careful about that. I gotta make sure I get hit first before I do offering, right? Another dual wield? Don't really care about. Play the top card of your draw pile, exhaust it. I don't know what the top card of my of my draw pile is, though. I also don't want to exhaust it. This would be nice if I knew what it was. Disarm? What does you upgrade it? Three? That's it. Ah. Uh, enemy loses two strength. This could be good against enemies that do, like, multi-attacks. Like, it'll hit six times for, like, 
three or whatever. I guess, I don't know, maybe we just skip this. I don't really care about like a second dual wield, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I think we skip this. The only power, I mean, we only have two powers. I wouldn't mind duplicating these, but eh. Then again, dual wield on Reaper though. That wouldn't be bad. Having a second dual wield in there just in case, just for the Reaper. For those clutch situations. I'm gonna take the dual wield just for the Reaper. Although I could have literally just upgraded this dual wield and it just makes it two instead of one. Maybe that was a skip play. That might've been a misplay. That might've been a misplay. Perfect for dual wield. Perfect for dual wield. But we are taking damage here because yeah, so also combust here would be perfect. We could we could dual wield a combust and just double combust and just do damage to all of them at the same time. And then we could just heal with um Reaper, right? So in that case, we're definitely doing these two, I think. Hey Raphael, what's up? We're definitely doing these two. Honestly, I just might take damage here. I think we're just gonna take this damage for the simple fact that I could just heal it back with Reaper on these three. So yeah. So I think I'm just going to do with the combust and then double combust. And just do 14 damage to everybody. Take this damage. Get myself a Reaper. Flex and a Reaper. Pommel strike. What am I pommel striking for? I don't know. Am I taking damage here? 12? Maybe an Intimidate. I mean, I guess I might as well. An offering, maybe? Draw some more cards? I could kill here. If I get war when they die. Why not? Yeah, I'll offering. Maybe I'll get Warwind. I did not get Warwind. But I'm also not taking damage here. I guess we'll just use this time to, to heal. I can Artemis this flex, I guess. Poor one is literally my last one. Can I full heal here? It's still kill. Because this is two. I get 16 free. But I need 24 to kill and 30 for that guy. Then again, I am Reapering, right? So. Um. I think I'm going to do it. I, I think I'm going to try. Flex? Yeah, I think I'm going to try. You got chemical X? I do, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna try. Okay, I think I'm gonna shrug it off. Get my whirlwind. We're going to Artemis the flex. A little bit more strike. Strength. We're gonna flex into a reaper. Get that heal. And then we're gonna whirlwind the kill. Nice. A free art. I don't think I want anything here. Have you I have I only played ironclad so far? Don't forget they take half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've only played Ironclad so far. I'm trying to get to Ascension level 20 before I play another class. Draw one card, put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile. Warcry could be pretty okay. Searing Blow is too late to get that. And I don't really care. Well, I mean, upgrading this Artemis... Well, no. Nah, I'd rather just upgrade the Artemis I already have versus getting a whole new one. Honestly. And there's not much cards I would like to upgrade here. Other than Flex. Flex has been pretty nice. Um, As an upgrade. This could be pretty decent as an upgrade. Berserk could be pretty decent as an upgrade. I don't know. I just don't want two Artemis, though. I'd much rather just upgrade the Artemis I already have. Do I want Warcry? Do I want Warcry? Especially when I'm at the start of the game, I can, like, you know, discard as many cards as I want already to get, like, a, a decent start, right? I don't know. On silent defect to unlock Act Four. Oh, I'll I'll consider it maybe. I don't know. I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You think it's an easy skiff? I think you're right. I have a lot of ways of drawing cards already. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll skip that. Shop, give me something good. Uh, friendly fire? I don't know. I don't really care about anything here. Except friendly fire. Or fiend fire. This could be like a good finisher to do like a lot of damage at the end. It's a solid finisher. I don't really care about Blood Vile, because I have Reaper. I don't really care about Ancient T all that much. I don't think it's worth the buy. And then, I don't really care about adding more cards into my deck. I honestly might just do a card removal service on this last strike. Or even on the dual wood, that was kind of a mistake picking up that dual wood, I think. It's just a negative one card. I don't really care about getting this t either. To be honest. You think it's a pog? I mean, I could easily just upgrade my ornaments. Like at this point, my ornaments is useless. If I get this card, my ornaments is useless. I feel like since I already have ornaments, I shouldn't get this. And I should just upgrade my ornaments and Call it a day. I mean, otherwise, what else would I buy here, right? Like, Friendly Fiend is the only thing I would buy. I could also do car removal service, though. There's that. This is a good finisher. Always beats only hand. Yeah, but if I buy this, I can't remove a card. If I remove this card, can I like take this bottle flame and put it on something else? Like I'd much rather just start the game off with Whirlwind. Much rather. That was a super big mistake. That's fine. I don't know, man. Diggling this seven damage can be really nice. I'll get, I'll get it. 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 Let's get rid of bat. Actually, we're not taking any damage here. He's defending and she's doing something. So I think I'm gonna do this. Ah, uh, not really what I wanted. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Jerome. I think I'm on a burning pack there and see what I get. If push comes to shove, I guess I'll do. Dual wield and do a double strike on flex for a little bit of damage. I don't get lucky. Ah. I might as well. It's the start of the game. Sure. It's the start of the game. I might as well. I might as well. I might as well. I'm seeing SES. Does that mean we got master? No, I suck at this game. Um, this is interesting. We got an offering with a whirlwind. I like that. I'm also not liking. It. I'm taking hella damage here though, unless I can kill her. Can I kill her? What am I drawing? Nothing I want to on this five. Yeah, I know I got chemical X. I know I know. I just I don't think I kill. I could do a wield whirlwind and do extra damage from it. Huh. 
I think that's what we'll do. I think we're gonna whirlwind. Dual wield whirlwind. That might kill her. Actually. Let's see. Or do I do Reaper? Nah. Yeah. Oh, I get three of them. Holy shit. Yeah, she's definitely dead. Okay, I was wrong. She wasn't gonna die, but now she's definitely dead. Which is great. Oh, they're all dead. What? I didn't think they were all gonna die. Oh, man. Blessing of the Forge. Let's get rid of Exhaust. Yeah. I like Blessing of the Forge. I didn't think they were all gonna die. I did not think they were all gonna die. Okay, that's a crazy combo. I like that. Now we know. Now we know. I, I knew for a fact she was gonna die. And I forgot the upgraded card gave me two. I was surprised there. Have you ever considered the possibilities of infinites? Infinite as in OTK. I don't know what OTK is. I like spot the weakness. The gaining of forest strength can be nice. Don't care about this. There's worker. I'm gonna get spot the weakness though. All right, we got 816. We're taking eight damage here. Well, we're taking 16 damage here, rather. Um, I can also intimidate, which is definitely a, a play. Well, let's get rid of... I hate the fact that I start off with Bash, but I would not mind this. We can Offering, see what we get. Intimidate. I'll take that damage from Intimidate. Let's see. An Ornaments. It's offering here. Triple defend. I love that. All right, intimidate. Taking 12 damage. I don't mind taking 12 damage, I don't think. It's too good. Yeah, it is. I might as well just get rid of ornaments at this point, honestly. Honestly. What am I drawing? Honestly, bro, I could honestly like I'm thinking about it. Well, maybe we burning pack. Let's burning pack there. See what we get. Spot the weakness. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm trying to see if I could pull whirlwind again and dual wheel whirlwind. Like I'm trying to see if I could do that. I do have a palmer strike. I could draw it from with palmer strike. Which would be great. I could dual wield the Palmer Strike as well, but I would like to dual wield Whirlwind. But keep in mind, I do have another dual wield in my hand, right? It's just no guarantee those two cards I pull is going to be uh, at least with four. I have a higher chance. Or is it too risky? Maybe it's too risky. Maybe I just try to do the best amount of damage I can do here since I do have spot the weakness, close line. And everything, you know what I mean? Maybe that's the best play, and I just do, and I just rely on my next cards next round. I mean, I do have a flex, do a wield, whirlwind. Like I could flex into a dual wield on a whirlwind, and that'll do a pretty good amount of damage. Even though I use my offering this turn, I only have three energy next time, but I could do a pretty solid amount of damage here, though. So I think I'm just gonna stick with this. I'll try to do this pretty solid amount of damage here. I mean, I could still dual wield Palmer Strike. That'll be what three pips. Then again, close line would be pretty solid for the weakness. So let's do spot. That'd be 18 damage. For a pommel, I guess. That's not bad damage. I forgot you gained block, you sucker. Now you want to give me whirlwind. I might as well whirlwind. Damn it, I did not want to draw whirlwind here. I wanted to draw it next round. Crap. That's fine though, I guess. He would have definitely died next next round. Whatever. I'll take this damage. I can always Reaper, I guess. Wait, I could flex dual wield into a Reaper. Well, I can't. Do, yeah, I don't have the pips to dual wield Reaper, I guess. But I can still flex into it. That's really the only thing I can do. Unless I shrug it off. What does shrug it off give me? 
Okay, well, that's not helpful. I guess we'll do this into a Reaper? I don't want a Vulnerable, because he might hit next round. I'm, not I'm trying to take the least amount of damage possible here. I'll take that 10 heal, though. Do I want a Berserk? He's almost dead. I don't need the Berserk. I think he's... Is he dead here? 13? Into a Combust? 7? 20? He's dead? Wait. He gained a block. Is he dead? One health. You're kidding me. One health. Despicable. Get off my screen. Shockwave. Do we need Shockwave? Not really. Considering. We have Intimidate. We got Clothesline. I don't think we need Shockwave when we have those two. And if it's an AoE battle, like, I think we're fine killing the adds. We don't get block. Don't care about Havoc. We skip all of that. I think we're going to go double elite. I feel confident, especially since we have Fairy in a bottle. So, like, we're not too stressed. AoE battle as well, which is nice. And we got Reaper, which is beautiful. We could start off with Reaper, actually. We could do Spot the Weakness, Intimidate Reaper. Let's get rid of... You know what? I'm going to just take the damage here. Let's get rid of Bash, and we'll get rid of the Defend. We don't need those. Flex as well, which is nice. Okay. So let's um, let's spot the weakness into a flex, into an intimidate. And then we're just going to heal up real quick and do a lot of damage. We'll take all this, though. Take 15. It's fine. And then they just die to Whirlwind. That's, that's game. That's, yeah. Offering. Into a double dual wield, into a Whirlwind's. I didn't even need to do to, to, to what you call it. And then we have Shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. I like that. We could flex, honestly. We'll get double flex. Maybe? Blood for blood? I don't really need a blood for blood. Yeah, we're fine. Our DPS is fine. I don't mind another flex, though. Extra flex is good. And I guess we'll upgrade here. What are we upgrading? Honestly, upgrading Hypothesis might not be bad. Having to do one less pip is pretty solid. And that pretty much upgrades all our cards, right? So we might as well do that. Like, I feel like it's the smartest thing to upgrade. Upgrade the thing that upgrades everything else. You know what I mean? That doesn't sound bad. DPS versus DPS, I see. We're not taking that damage versus... Axe, damn, we can't offering here. I would love to start with the Arfuring, but we can't. We have to, like, not take this 24 damage. All right, I guess we'll just get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. We'll keep dual wield, get rid of the strike. What's my draw, pal? A whole bunch of everything. If I could start off with the Apothesis here, that'd be great. We'll keep the dual wield just in case we get something. Dual wield Whirlwind, and we just W key Whirlwind. We could Artemis the Whirlwind. I mean, not Artemis. We could Artemis the Dual Strike. The Dual Strike. And then we'll just... Dual Wield the Whirlwind. And we'll get three Whirlwinds. And that'll be like... 48 damage, I think. Pretty sure. Or should I keep my pips? Should I just duel with the whirlwind? Which one is more damage? Yeah, duel wielding the whirlwind would be more damage than upgrading this and then doing that, right? Right? Am I wrong? Because one of these will be 24, and then we'll get a. No. Be 40. Because that'll be five attacks. And five times eight is 40. So that'll be 40 damage. And then we'll have another one for two. So that'll be 40. So that'll be 56 damage. That'll be 56 damage. Or I can Artemis dual wield. 
And that'll leave me with one energy, but three of these. So that'll be a three, two, and a two. Which would be seven. Which would be 56 damage. So I think that's... I forgot the first number I said. I think it was like 46 versus... I don't know. I just know the other one would be 56. It was damage for two energy. Yeah. So I think... Yeah, I think the ornaments into the dual wield. And then the upgraded dual wield into the whirlwind. I think this does more damage. Oh, not to mention the shuriken. I forgot. <laughs> the shuriken to gain an extra strength, which is nice. We hypothesis this here. We can even intimidate. We'll just tank this damage. Yeah, we'll tank this damage. I don't mind tanking this damage. Yeah. Boom. Into an intimidate. We'll tank the 10 damage. Into a spot the weakness. And honestly, we can just combust, I guess. Yeah, we'll just combust, I guess. Alright, no more tanking damage, though. I don't want to take this 15. So what are we doing here? I don't think we berserk. Yeah, I don't think we berserk. I'm not trying to be vulnerable right now. And take even more damage. We definitely need to pull some cards though. That's all we're getting? Man, that sucks. I mean, this isn't bad damage, though. I guess I could flex. I mean, I could dual wield pommel strike. I could dual wield pommel strike flex and just do 30 damage plus the four strength, right? So it'll be a little bit more than 30 damage. It just sucks taking 15 damage. Although, once I do a pommel strike, at least I'll draw two cards to defend myself, right? And that'll, that'll give me like 16 block. So maybe that's what we'll do, actually. Yeah, we'll flex into a pommel strike, get 16 block, and call that a round. I think that'll be great. No, we're not berserking. I think that was a good play. Now we're 24 damage. Can I kill you? I have spot a weakness and flex and already five. Double flex at that. Can I kill you with a whirlwind here? It's very possible. I think we go for it. That or we're taking 24 damage. I don't know. But I think we're going to go for it. Double flex. 21. That's 2, 4, 6. Nah, you're dead. You're dead because of Chemical X. Ah, oh, dude, it's just for the hell of it. You're dead. Nice. Every 6 turn, gain 1 intangible. Uh, Perfected Strike? No. Impervious? Don't really need. Pommel, though... Could be pretty solid. See, like, we have 17 strength there. That's 17 damage four times. Plus the two, I guess. Five times. It's like 60 damage. I'm going to take Pommel. Pommel's pretty solid. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Decent. Let's get rid of Bash. We'll take seven damage here. We could just do one defend. Honestly, we could just do uh, strike it off, actually. Fuck that. We'll do a strike it off. We might not even need combust. I could just kill him. If I pull the cards correctly, right? We'll keep the flex just to keep the flex. Give me something good. I guess... Damn, if I offer him here, I'm taking a seven damage, though. But if I do offer, I could just double defend, I guess. What am I pulling? Everything. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll offer in here. Got my whirlwind. Okay. I have dual wield as well. And a double flex. We'll just... Do I have the upgrade card? No, I don't. Am I pulling it? The only time I want ornaments, literally, is the upgrade dual wield into... Getting more whirlwinds is the only time I want ornaments. I'm just going to pull you just to pull you. We're definitely whirlwinding here, though, so... Unless I could pull an Apithesis. I wouldn't mind pulling an Apithesis. I don't even know how to say that damn word. 
I think we I think we try to go for it. I think we just draw three cards. Hopefully we either get ornaments or an apothesis. This is Let's double nah, I should've that was a misplay. I should have I should have did this first for the apothesis to upgrade those flexes. It's fine though. It's fine. I just wanted to do that before I pummel striked, I guess. We could shrug it off. Exhaust two car. Yeah. I mean, you're dead anyways, so I'm just going to do this. I forgot we had Reaper. Ooh. I do want to heal here with Reaper. Reaper just changed my mind a little bit. Reaper just changed my mind. Okay. I mean, I could Reaper into a Whirlwind and he's still dead. I'll get my 16 heal. And I got eight block, so we'll come out of here with more health. Right. <laughs> Reaper plus dual wield. WW, what's, I don't know what the WW means. Oh, whirlwind, Reaper. Reaper plus dual wield whirlwind. They all die from that? Possibly. Let's try it. Get my heal. We'll do a wield whirlwind. Because of chemical X, right? He might not die, possibly. Nah, he doesn't die. Which is fine though. I mean. Yeah, we still get the 12 block. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That was a good play. Now you're dead. Possibly. All I have is a strike. I mean, I could do it with the strike. He still might be dead though. All right? He's dead here, right? Do a wielding a strike here? Should I upgrade the strike? Didn't do it? Nah. That's gonna be all my pips. I need the extra pip. What do I have in here? I mean, I just upgrade my car. I want to, I, I need to guarantee kill him. Cause that's 14. That's 14. We need more than 14 damage. He's got 20 health. Three strikes? No, nah, this is gonna be two. Dual wheels not upgraded. Unless you're talking about upgrading the ornament into a strike, but then I'm not gonna have enough pips. I'd have to probably use Blessing of the Forge here. Upgrade my strike. Upgraded strike does nine. But we have one strength, so to do 10, which is the 20 that we need. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Get that guy. And we'll just strike him away. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. Honestly, rage isn't bad. Wild, definitely don't need you. Definitely don't need entrance. Rage wouldn't be bad, though. I'll rage. I don't mind. We'll rage. And now to Smith. I wish I could freaking innate this card. Maybe it'd be too OP then. What is rage upgrade? Oh, you just four up five. Um, I don't know what the upgrade. Maybe I'll just upgrade one of my dual wields. Maybe. Does this give me an extra card? It does. Maybe Artemis, actually. Even though we have innate, but I mean, there's been like, what? Multiple situations where we use our Artemis to upgrade a dual wield and to get any more, you know what I mean? Like, there's been situations where Artemis has been clutch. Where is how you get block on infinite decks? Just saying, is it? You're only a fiend fire and a drop kick away from it. I don't even know how to do infinite decks. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to upgrade here. You berserk. I haven't played berserk at all, by the way, this entire time. Just because I'm scared of the vulnerable. I mean, that should be a little bit more flexible, not be scared of the vulnerable. I don't know. Honestly, I think I'm I think I'm digging arguments. Also, I do have a, if I rest, I can like get a card, right? Yeah, if you rest, you can add a card to your deck. I don't really need to add a card to my deck. I think I'm just going to upgrade Artemis. It's been kind of clutchy so far, so I figure might as well, right? All right, starting off with a Whirlwind and an Offering. This game is basically over. We'll get, get rid of Bash. We could get rid of Bash, get another card. Palma Strike, get two cards, Offering. What's my draw, pal? Everything, of course. We don't run any Rage here. Unless they survive. 
I mean, the most amount of damage we're taking is six. For sure, this guy's dying. It's just this dude with the 98 health. I don't mind taking six damage. So I don't need rage. The extra block. Pummel strike for egg drawing extra cards just in case. We'll take these two. Upgraded ornaments. I don't really need it right now. Okay, so let's... Um, it's offering. Okay, now we're taking 12 damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Okay, we can Artemis this flex. Upgrade the flex, which wouldn't be horrible. If I pommel strike, I can get a dual wield, which would be great. I also have some other draw cards. Let's pommel strike. But if I'm a pommel strike, I might as well flex, right? Do a little bit extra damage with that. So let's do this. Flex. Pull. Dual wield. Dual wield whirlwind game? I wish you were upgraded. Still might be game. Well, maybe not game, but he's dead. Unless I hypothesis this. Hypothesis dual wield? Even more whirlwinds? I think that's a play. Hypothesis. Boom. Triple whirlwinds. I should strike here, right? Strike does more damage. 13 damage versus 12 for that extra one pip that I have. And these are going to attack anyways. I think that's better. <laughs> I unironically, I'm pretty sure that's better. That one extra damage. And then we gained um, strength because of uh, Shuriken. It's nice. Oh no, you're just dead. I wasn't expecting you to die, but sure, we'll take that. Seeing red for sure. Just for the extra pip each. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Minion battle. And starting with a whirlwind and seeing red. Well, the minions are dead. We can honestly get rid of bash, strike, and pummel. I don't think we need pommel here. Ooh. Uh, Artemis, seeing red, dual wield, whirlwind. What can I draw? What if I draw flex from pommel strike? I mean, that one pip is worth eight damage. And I could just deal 10 damage, so. I th I'm pretty sure that's fine. Okay, well, I didn't get it, but... It's still fine. Should I have vulnerable here? The minions are dead. I'm not taking damage. I can benefit from the extra pip next round. Assuming he's going to live. He might not live. And he's going to be weakened. Sure, I'll do it. He might not live. Who knows? I don't know. Nah, he's gonna live. Alright. That's fine. And he's doing question marks here as well. I forgot Reaper existed. We don't really need it right now, though. We might as well do this. Getting a... Uh, give me a good card. Okay, well, that sucks. I might as well just duel with my Reaper. Because, like... I might as well keep this until he brings his minions out, I guess. Doing flex here is useless. I might as well just do that. Welcome back, minions. And he's doing no damage this turn, too. Beautiful. Where's my damage at, though? Nowhere to be found. I can't even hit nothing. Well, might as well gain the strength, though. Maybe I just gamblers brew? I really have no hits. Except for clothesline. Can I kill him with clothesline? Unless I draw an offering, I guess. Maybe we'll do that. We could literally discard this entire hand. We don't need anything except for flex. I'll only draw three. I'd have to get lucky and get offering. Or maybe burning pack, because that draws me three as well, right? So, let's do that. That's so shitty. The two cards I needed, I didn't draw. That sucks so much. Uh, well, 
I'm just gonna flex into a clothesline on this guy. At least we're not really taking damage here. I don't even need the combust, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And game over? Basically. What are you giving me? That is definitely game over. Definitely game over. Definitely game over. Definitely game over. And a Viagra. <laughs> Dropkick? What are you upgraded? Oh, you are already upgraded. I mean, it's basically a free eight damage and a free draw card on a vulnerability. And we got, we got multiple ways of applying vulnerability. Wait, do we? I thought we did. I mean, I, I think I was mistaken for weakness. Damn, the only thing that gives vulnerable is bash. Never mind. Never mind. An extra pommel strike? We don't really need an extra pommel strike for real. That's a skippy. Dropkick? Nah, we don't we only have one play one way of applying vulnerable, and that's bash. Everything else is just weakness. Uh, we got in, in um intimidate weakness. Um we got something else here. Oh, clothesline weakness. Thunderclap is actually pog. Thunderclap's not bad, but I don't think we really need it. I feel like we're really strong without it. Nah, we can kill these fools. Yeah, I'm keeping my gold. Wait, what? Swear, did I just... I just hit the wrong one. I'm pissed. I just hit the wrong one. I want to fight you guys. That sucks. Oh, well. Um, I might as well upgrade something here. Fuck you guys. I should have fought y'all. Let's upgrade. Sing red, maybe? More pips? I can save quit. Nah, I'll just play without it. It's fine. It's fine. I think I'm just doing seeing red. Turn into zero. More pips, more damage. All right, big guy. What you got on me, brother? Ah, huh? I don't eat bash. I'm offering. You're not hitting me, which sucks. So I can't gain the strength. Also, we could do with this pommel strike just in case for more cards. We don't really need rage. It's pommel strike, I think. Or you know what? I'm gonna offer. I have regrets. I have regrets. I need whirlwind. Otherwise, we're just close lining this dude. Once I had doable to pommel strike. Nah, we'll just pull it next round. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna force it. Uh we could just Artemis just to upgrade everything. Including this dual wield, I guess. Into a clothesline. Oh, I forgot it was a thing. I wish we were attacking me. I would like to. I'm not about to do 12 damage from that. That card could do way more than just 12 damage. I could also dual wield that card. Huh. Why not? Let's dual wield it. It could do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm still not act too broken. <laughs> All right, we're not taking damage here, which is great. I don't really care about combusting. I care about drawing some cards, though. Give me something good. Okay. Intimidate. Meh. Do combust. Double defense. Give me a break. Give me a break. I have no no way of attacking you. I might as well intimidate you. And that's it. And I guess I'll just defend for no reason. And now you're doing 20 damage. And now I get whirlwind. Wow. Okay. Um. Should I whirlwind here? I'm at the berserk. 
Should I Berserk? Is it risky? Two vulnerability. I mean, he's 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 dealing 25% less damage for two turns. My my vulnerability is gonna last for one turn. This. So I might as well do that. Then we can flex into a defend, into a roll. A little bit of damage. Take a little bit of damage. I think that was a good play, personally. We might as well just flex, close line, strike. Whirlwind is noise. Even though he... What am I drawing? Drawing is seeing red would be good. Drawing the flex would be good. Drawing a dual wood would be good. We don't need Artemis because all of my cards are upgraded. Don't care about Bash. I can only do one. Uh, I guess Bash. Okay. I'll take this. Can I draw a dual wield? Nah. I guess we'll just war one here. I mean, nothing else we could do. Do that damage. Twenty three. At least I got to spot the weakness this time into a pommel. That could be pretty solid. Also got a dual wield. I could dual with the pommel with spot of weakness, and that'll do like a pretty solid amount of damage. Not to mention I have shrug it off to the to block a little bit of this, right? So spot of weakness. I mean, that's doing like 25 damage. And then we'll get two of them. That's 50 damage right there. But I'm also not taking this 23, right? So I'm gonna have to shrug it off. Into a flex, that's actually not bad. It's doing even more damage. Yeah. Like, that's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. Decent play, decent play, decent play. Decent play, 19. Spot the weakness again, even more strength. Into a shrug, draw a card. Into a pommel. Nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Very nice. But we're about to pummel this man to death, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh. You might be dead here, brother. You might be dead here. That's a 75 damage. 75, 75 plus whirlwind. Not to mention we have dual wield. We'll dual wield, yeah, dual wield whirlwind. Pummel. Into a pummel. Into whirlwinds until he dies. Good game. Feed! Do I need a feed? I guess feed wouldn't be horrible. Skills cost zero. Whenever you play a skill, it exhausts it. I don't know. I feel like it's good for skills that already exhaust and cost pips. And that's, I mean, Apothesis would be good because it already exhausts and it costs pips, but everything else, I mean this, but it doesn't cost any pips, right? So yeah, I think feed here is the play. And you gain one, start of your turn. All the enemies start combat with one strength. Hmm. Maybe we actually get busted crown because we don't really need cards like I mean more, you know Yeah, we don't really need like our, our deck is pretty solid. I think so getting in the crown might not be bad Honestly Philosopher's stone wouldn't be bad either because we have uh We got fossilized helix so even at one strength wouldn't really matter at the start of combat at least it'll matter later i think we go busted crown here though i'm gonna go busted crown just because i don't really think we need more cards for real for real 
121 gold. I don't care about hitting a shop now. I wouldn't mind more relics though, so. I think we're gonna hit up some elites here. We got triple elites down this way, but that's a lot of battles until we hit that elite. That's a dangerous road of triple elites. What about left side? Left side, we only got double. Shit, let's take this dangerous road of triple elites. Push comes to shove, we can heal here. And we also got feed. Maybe we can benefit from feed. All right, taking 12, taking 10 damage here. Unless we choose offering. Uh, I think it's too early for pommel. Do these guys split? I forget which slime split. I do have Reaper, you're right. Reaper would be really good here, actually. Yeah, let's get rid of Pommel. We can we can spot weakness flex. Maybe we'll get something cool out of these two. We can also just depend on uh Reaper as well. Whenever it comes through. So maybe we do offering here and just take this 22 damage. And pull five cards of greatness. Shit, we could pull our whirlwind. Not gonna lie. It's no split, okay. But other enemies are still alive, rev revives in two turns at 50% HP. Okay. I'm gonna offer him. We got Reaper. The thing is, we're already at max HP. So Reaper doesn't matter. We need to keep drawing cards. Let's Burning Pack this Defend. I think it's the best play. Dual wield, we gotta shrug it off. We could keep drawing. Intimidate. Uh, I don't want to pull my Reaper out when I don't need it. Well, I could dual wield the Reaper. And just play one. That'll be three. We could double flex. And spot the weakness. Yeah, we could double flex, spot the weakness on a Reaper. And I'd do pretty decent damage because of all the strengths we're going to be gaining. And it's damage to everything. And we can do a Widow just to keep it. Just in case we'll need it to heal, right? We can also Intimidate here. It'll deal a little bit less damage. I think that's the play. Yeah, 13 damage to everybody? I don't think that's bad. Yeah, I don't think that's bad. Now you're doing damage. Will you die here with my whirlwind and my dual build? Y'all might be dead. It's a very high chance. Because I'm not taking all this damage. I'd be damned. Didn't I, didn't I do have a rage? All right, let's do that. Ornaments, you're useless. To a rage. Into a dual build. And then Whirlwind. And you're just dead. I wish I would have used Feet there. Don't need. But it's okay. So far, so good, though. Let's get rid of all of that. Honestly, let's get rid of Clothesline, too. Not bad. Hypothesis. Into a spot the weakness, into an intimidate, into a flex, into a whirlwind. I guess you didn't really need the intimidate. You're already doing like zero damage. And it didn't matter. You don't really need that. Skip. Uh-oh. Wait, we might be fine here though, actually. Well, we know we don't need Reaper <laughs> or that. Berserker? Ah, <laughs> he, he has the ability to one-shot us. I don't think we do vulnerability. I think we keep burning pack, though. We got to kill this guy really fast. Weak potion would be good. Yo, ice blue lava. What's up? All right. We burning pack this defend. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Especially Pommel Strike, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. 
Artemis can upgrade this flex. Pommel strike. Maybe we don't pommel strike here. The only good pommel strikes would be seeing red offering the dual wields. That's really about it for the most part. Do I smoke? No, I don't. Kind of have to survive the five turns. You think so? You don't think we'll do enough damn? I think we can survive the five turns, especially since we have the weak potion, right? So. I think I'm an ornament, flex, pommel, and just whirlwind. Maybe we do pommel strike actually. How's my love life? It's decent. I got me a little 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 boot thing, low key. So it's it's pretty solid. Either we can't just need to hurt him, gotcha. Pommels get the triggers weaken. <laughs> Not you laughing at me. Oh, uh, well, this sucks. I guess we'll apoth into this. Weaken him a little bit. Well, this sucks, sucks. Should I just take this 37? No, I have to. He's already weakened. There's nothing else I can do. Oh, I forgot his first hit does no damage. Haha. <laughs> um, Actually, combustion will be good here, actually. This is a guaranteed damage dealt. That's actually pretty solid. Not gonna lie. No drawing cards. We could dual wield clothesline. That does nothing, actually, because we're not going to be able to double clothesline. So we might as well combust into a flex, into a strength, into a clothesline, I guess. I've actually been able to kill him one time in one run. 52, huh? We might as well just offering. Offering, what are you giving me? We just need to do damage here. I keep on having the mindset that I need to kill this guy. But I don't need to kill him. We have enough hits here to bring his thing down. Like we have feed, bash, strike, dual wield. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to kill him. <laughs> if I had the cards I needed this round with that double flex, ooh, brother would be in trouble. Let's just rage here. We're just going to rage. Probably dual wielding the strike. Honestly, we could just dual wield the feed. It does more damage. 26. I don't know the status has this name. I just usually call the one damage instance negated a buffer because that's the deflect card with this name that does that. What man? I don't know what any of that just meant. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. Dies this turn fading. If only I could kill him. I would not mind killing him at all. I would not mind killing you, sir. Hope you know that. Looks like we're surviving this round, though. Or this battle, rather. Shrug it off. Don't don't need don't need that. All right, we need to heal here, which we'll definitely be able to with this crowd of munchkins. I don't need rage or this or this or this. We'll keep intimidate, I guess. This sucks. Wow. A lot. A lot, a lot, actually. Nothing here makes sense. <laughs> the shittiest first turn ever. Shittiest first turn ever. Uh, let us 
I might even Artemis this burning pack just to draw an extra card. And then get rid of Clothesline into an offering. And just maybe just kill. Solid. Very solid. Even solidier. The solidity is ever so solidified. Although I wish I did have my Reaper. I don't have anything else to draw cards with though, unfortunately. So we're just going to kill. And to do that, we're definitely using this dual wood. I can't upgrade it. Well, I could. That'd be one into a one into whirlwinds. Probably like one, two. Spot the weakness. Maybe even a punnel just for the hell of it. Eh. They're all dead. Just in case they don't die, let's combust. Just in case. You know what I mean? All right, they're dead. 10 strike? 20 strikes is actually not bad. Especially with a strength. Though. Like, that's actually, like, genuinely, uh, like, that's not bad. I'll take a 20 strike. I don't mind. Actually not bad. All righty. Don't care about bash. Do I care about two dual wields? Not really. I guess we'll take the shrug it off just for the extra block. Yeah, we'll just keep these. Okay, we'll do that. Intimidate. Let's damn. Shrug it off, fool something. A Reaper. I wish I could, I want to Reaper here to heal, but I might as well just dual wield this Reaper and defend. We're not taking damage here anyways. And I got like three Reapers in my deck. Should be pretty solid for me. Clothesline is useless versus four enemies. If it was like one enemy, it would be perfect, but it's not. I say we combust into a defend, into like a puddle, a pummel, I guess. Do 15 damage to something. We don't really need to. I guess we'll do a 15 damage to the dude with the highest health. Because like, oh shit, you have spikes, you son of a son. Oh, you don't have the highest health anymore. All right, I I'm a really need. Uh, uh, these, uh, these, uh, what you call it, to come through so I can heal real quick if, uh, if they don't mind. Uh, still didn't get it. Maybe we'll just, uh, just hit an offering up here. Give me an offering real quick. Still don't see it. They're going to die here. They're for sure going to die here. He explodes after three turns? Who? This guy? Motherfucker. So he has to die. Well, I can kill him with dual strike if push comes to shove with all these flexes. I just need to, you know, what? we're just going to pummel strike him just in case. And then we're going to burning pack this days. Can I get, I have to pull all these cards out of my deck, don't I? God. Dang it, man. I'm trying to heal. Well, I guess there's no healing because he's got to die. Well, I mean, I'm, unless I just don't whirlwind and I just like. Get my Reapers next turn and kill everything with them. They're not doing that much damage, though. They're not getting my Flexus either. But I could still kill them. So I don't explode. And they're not doing anything to kill me this round. Do I just go for the heal? I need to probably just go for the heal. I think I'm just going to go for the heal. Yeah, let's just go for the heal. I don't know. I could literally kill y'all right now, but I need the heal. You better be glad. Y'all better be glad I need the heal. Now I better get a heal. I'm pissed. Well, I'm only taking nine damage. Did I kill you? Feed? I don't think so. And I'm taking nine damage of spikes. I don't like that. I don't like thoughts. Hmm. B's not going to kill him. What's the point? My draw pal is empty. 
Wait, feed would have killed him. No, the the burning card would have killed him, actually. All right, brother. Where's my cards? I'm glad y'all aren't attacking me. I better not die here. Well, I do have this, so. Yeah. Okay. Finally. All right, I get the heal. I am happy. Sure. Wait, isn't this guy like a hard battle? Like genuinely a hard battle? Wait, this is my first time actually going against this guy. Should I be, should I be worried? Wait, did I die? I died that game? I guess I died that game and it consumed my potion. And I healed back. I so lame. Fucking spikes. Okay, whatever. Be very worried. Okay, what what do I what should I be worried about from this from Nemesis? What 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 you know? What should I be worried about? Cause from the looks of it, I'm about to do it with this world with this flex and deal a deal a solid amount of damage at the start. I don't know if that's the play though. I also don't know if I should bash. I feel like I should bash. Okay, he's v he's invulnerable every other turn. Okay, and hits hard. Gotcha. So he's okay. Thank you for that. Should I bash? Every damage you do is reduce someone. Okay, so I definitely need to do damage this turn, right? I definitely need to do damage this turn. So that would be super important for me to do damage this turn. You'll learn. Fuck you, Far. You want me to fail. All right. So no matter what, I need to do damage this turn. So maybe I keep bash. I can bash into a duel on whirlwind with flex. Ah. Uh... All right. All right, flex into a bash to a dual wield on whirlwind into a double whirlwind. I think that was a good play. All right, in this turn, he's invulnerable. However, we didn't take damage yet. So technically speaking, Helix should tank this 45. Correct. So we can spot the weakness with an intimidate. Did we just Reaper for the hell of it? Since it's the only thing we can do. And it's da like damage is damage, right? So maybe that's what we'll do. I forgot he's invulnerable. Fuck it. Whatever. We didn't really lose much. So here he's not invulnerable. I have twin strike, which is pretty solid. Offering, clothesline, all pretty solid. He's doing 21 damage with double defense. Not bad. Very not bad. Burning pack, solid. Dual wield, solid. Seeing red, solid. If I could pull, he dies here. If I could, if I could, if I don't have it on me. Sad. Does he still die here? He might. We got twin strike. Hold up. I could dual wield twin strike. Can I upgrade uh, dual wield? Okay, I can upgrade my dual wield with the twin strike. I have six of these. I also got burning pack. What? Um, anything here important? Not really. Yeah. We don't really care about drawing cards here. None of these cards help me for real, for real. Yeah, none of these cards help me for real, for real. So I think we just upgrade dual wield. We can even close line. Twenty six damage. Yeah. Artemis. We'll dual wielding. One strike. Into a seeing red. Close line. One strike. One strike. One strike. Good game, good game. Talk to Ed whenever you add a scale to your deck. Upgrade it, sure. Even though it's the end of the game. Headbuck, till nine damage. Put a card from your discard pal on the top of your draw pal. 
Well done. Why, thank you, my good sir. Thank you. All right, we're definitely going for double elites here. Do I upgrade or do I heal? If I heal, I get to draw a card. If I upgrade, what am I upgrading? Rage? I should upgrade a dual wield. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Yeah, I like that idea. Upgrade a dual wield. Hopefully, I'm going against an elite that's multiple enemies so I can heal for a little bit. You've come a long way, have I? Why, thank you. Haha, -ha, I can heal! As soon as I get the right cards to do so. That'd be great. Um, I need to draw cards. We don't need Bash. Intimidate is solid. Honestly, we don't even need Headbutt. There's nothing in our discard pile. Burning Pack can be good just for the drawing of cards. Oh, wow. Starting off with an Apothesis. We'll take that. That makes the Intimidate really good. And let's shrug it off into a feed. Could I kill one of them? If I could like burning pack this to Finn and get something good. Damn it. Not good. Uh, what are my potions looking like? 12 block, I don't need. Weakness, don't need. Two strength? I'm trying to see if I can kill this feed. Maybe I should just spot the weakness just to gain four strength. Maybe that's a play. I'm not taking damage this turn. That's probably to play. Yeah. Just to get the block. I mean, just to get the strength. I'm not taking damage this turn. Well, not a lot, but we're not any at all. No drawing of cards here except for Pommel Strike, I suppose. I need to deal damage here. Well, never mind. They're all doing one damage. So I guess I don't really need to deal damage here. Um, but we're definitely spotting the weakness again. That's nice strength. Nice, nice strength. And then we could just Pommel Strike this guy. Flint Strike? Him as well. Honestly, let's we we should berserk here. Actually, berserk here isn't bad. And I guess we'll just twin strike this dude. And that's about it. You can't feed on a minion, really? That's lame. Now we're taking a lot of damage, but they're dead because we have infinite whirlwinds. We also got rage just in case anybody wants to live. I doubt they want to live though. Which whirlwind do you want to duplicate? Maybe I should have shaved that for the boss. Maybe. Nah. Whenever you lose HP, you lose one left. Sure. If you end a turn without block, gain six block. That's not bad. Should we go this way for the shop? We got 322. Maybe we go this way, actually. I was going to go this way. But we get the elite anyways. Less battles. Sure. Let's go this way. Um, I could maybe feed on a dude for 29. Might give me some... A little bit extra maximum health. I could twin strike him into a feed. 816 plus the 11. He's dead. Ooh! I can Reaper! You're not having any strength. Eh, still wouldn't be a bad play though. Let's Reaper. Mm, actually, wait. Because I still want to use my feed, right? If I Reaper into a twin strike, he's dead. I can't Reaper into a feed. He's not going to die from that. So I think I twin strike into a feed into a Reaper. I'll get like 20, 10 health plus a little bit of maximum health. I think that'd be good. Oh, he's not going to die. Damn it. Oh, man. I was for sure he's going to die. This sucks. I don't want to head, but I don't have enough pips. Ah, maybe I'll just Reaper for the heal. We need the heal anyways. I feel like the heal is a little bit more important. All right. So we'll just... What did that do? One strike, I guess. For the sake of the heal, I guess we'll just do that. Maybe that wasn't the best play to do to do with the spikes. I didn't think about the spikes he had. Might have been a misplay. I already took damage. I could kill him. 
I could dual wield a twin strike, he's dead, but I'd take 24 damage in the process. That's not ideal. Maybe I'll just pummel strike here. I could pummel strike this guy just to get a kill. I'd rather take this nine damage than to take that massive amount of damage. Maybe I keep my dual wield just to see what we'll get here. The only other attack I would realistically want to get would be Whirlwind. What are the chances I'll get that out of two cards, though? Maybe I will do a will this turn strike. I think I will. And I think I am going to pummel strike this guy. That wasn't a shitty play, I don't think. And I think I'm just going to kill this guy because, man, I'd have to hit him twice. Actually, I would have to hit him four times. That's 24 damage I'm going to take. Plus that 11. That's a lot of damage to be taking. Do I do that or do I just take this 9 damage? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. That's a lot of damage to be taking. Maybe I'll, just, maybe I'll do this block potion. I think that's a play. We'll do this block potion. And then we just kill him. At least then I won't take, you know, 12 and he still dies. That's a better play. Or is this him building up his, uh, his spikes on me? A. Kind of A. Eh, still an A. You could, could you die? Could you do me a solid and like die? You know what I mean? That would be phenomenal if you could just die, you know? Thank you. Rage? Sure. Money? What you got for me? Battle Trance is not bad. Not bad. And I got a membership card at the last minute. Or a pair. Enlightenment? I have an X potion? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Reduce the cost of all your cards in your hand. This combat to one. But at the same time, none of none of my cards. Well, not a lot of my cards. There's only one card I have that's over one, which is clothesline. And Reaper, I guess. So maybe not enlightenment. Battle Trance might not be bad though. Card is uh, kind of good, even in the last shot. What, Battle Trance? I think so. We can do that in pair. Since our health is kind of at half right now. I wonder if it's worth picking up this membership. For 150. Maybe not. Can I buy both of these? That'd be like... Yeah, we could buy both of these. Discount card? Eh... I think if I buy this, I can't buy both of these. <laughs> well, maybe I can. Because that'll be like... 115? That'll be like 40. Ah. Oh, yeah, that would be worth it, actually. Yeah, 115, 40. That'd be like 200. I have 146 left over. To remove a card, I guess. We can remove this final last strike that we have. Huh. Yeah, let's do that. I forgot I had to buy the card. My math wasn't mathing. I forgot I had to account for actually buying the card. Can I still get everything? Nope. Fuck. Well. Arnament? Nah. I already got an ornament. And an apothesis. I don't need another ornament. And I definitely don't want Searing Blow. That's useless. Well. I guess we could, uh... Get you. This is the last shot. Imagine this was a shot. Okay. While in free fall, you consider your options. Land safely, which are greatest techniques. Channel a power to survive the fall. Strike at the wall to hang on it. Do I land, channel, or strike? Close line I like to apply to weakness. Combust? Doesn't really matter, actually. Combust doesn't matter at all. Neither does defend. 
But I'd probably say combustion doesn't matter even more because we don't have the card that gains me strength upon losing health. And we already got a pretty damn good AoE. We don't need that seven damage. We even got Reaper as an AoE, so. I'd lose combustion. Wait, if I lose, I thought I would gain something out if I lost something. I might as well just lose the defend. <laughs> Another one of you. All right. Well, we need to deal a hella damage here again. So we can get rid of this and this. Actually, he's not hitting me here. So we can get rid of spot of weakness too. Give me something good. That's not good, but at least I can draw some cards. Something good. Intimidate brother. Something good. What am I supposed to do here? Just get a hell of <laughs> a shit ton of strikes, I guess. That's all I can do here. Rip, right. All you gotta do is do get a shit ton of strikes. This guy might be harder than the boss fight. I guess dual wield strikes and do... I mean... A couple amount of damage. I can intimidate him. I also got potions here. Might actually be using those potions actually. Damn it! I just realized I did. I did offering. I shouldn't have done offering. I shouldn't have done offering, because now that first attack, he's gonna actually like deal the damage from it. So I shouldn't have done offering. That was a misplay. Fuck. I'm. I'm hoping weakness can combat some of that i guess all right let's intimidate here berserk is not smart because his next attack is definitely going to be a shit ton of damage and i guess we'll dual wield strike and then just strike because he's not hitting me i can't fool you yeah that's unfortunate I guess the weakness didn't do anything. One damage? Why are you only doing one damage? I don't know why he's only doing one damage. What's the what's the best thing I can hope for here? Apothesis? That's about it. Or weakness, actually. Clothesline wouldn't be bad, just to apply to three weakness. The worst thing I can do here is probably pull my whirlwind. That's the worst thing I can do. I guess Artemis wouldn't be bad just to upgrade everything here. And then Pummel Strike, maybe pull the Clothesline. Best thing I could pull is Clothesline and Apothesis. Worst thing I could pull is Whirlwind. If I could pull this Clothesline though, that would be great. I think I'm going to take my chances. Is Pummel? Eh, whatever. We'll do that to upgrade the cards, I guess. And we'll just... Stick with this for this round. Not the best damage being dealt. I did get Whirlwind though. So this is going to be a huge damage round. We can also weakness him here so we don't take too much damage. Which I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, so we, we battle trance. Pull four cards. We're going to pull... Honestly, pulling a flex and hypothesis wouldn't be horrible. To be fair. We also got twin strike to deal even more damage. Battle Trance coming in clutch, high key. Yeah. Battle Trance, Burning Pack wouldn't do anything. So let's Apothesis into a Flex. Into Weaknessing him. 15, so we'll take 15 damage. We also got to defend here if we want to. Should we Vulnerable him? Is this a good round for Vulnerable? Maybe. Twin strike. Should I feed? Just for the extra 18 damage? Probably. It's more damage than Whirlwind would do. Yeah. I'm considering also blocking. Let's do it. Let's let's throw it on him. Give him a vulnerable. I'm considering defending. I'll still do two uh 28 from this. Getting a little bit of block. Instead of 15, it'll be half that. Probably a good play. Should I have Dexterity too? Even more block? Just for this round? Eh, it's only one block for this round though. Eh. I'll defend here. And we'll feed. 
I still gained block though from one of these perks. All right, all right. So far, so decent actually, not bad. I like what we pulled as well. Because we can do that into a rage. To a clothesline. Fuck me, I forgot he doesn't take damage. All right, well, whatever. At least we still put the weakness on him. I gotta remember that. Three pulling. Reset. Um. It's pommel. Into a shrug. I literally have no attacks except for Reaper. I can do like. I mean, I do have Battle Trance though. We're just gonna pummel here. That's the best play. Actually, that's a lot of damage. It's like, what, 30? I think somewhere around there. 45, maybe? I don't know. That's five times nine. It's 45. It's 45 damage. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Nice. All right. Champion's belt. Whenever you apply vulnerable, apply one weakness. Awesome, actually. Ooh, speed potion. A little bit of dexterity. Uh, I think I'd rather keep those. Iron weave, don't need. Another shifting. We killed the first shifting, so we should be fine here. But we need to hit. We definitely need to hit here. None of these are hits. So let's get rid of you two. We're keeping bash, just in case we have to keep bash for a hit. Because I don't know what the hell we're going to draw. So I'm keeping bash just for a hit. All right, well, we pulled hits, so. Then again, I'm not taking damage from this hit. Because we have a helix, so. Unless I did offering, but... I think I'd rather just tank this hit. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I tanked it, I guess. Maybe it doesn't matter if I tank it. It's like a free round of tanking. I'll take the free round of tanking. Now we're not tanking. Okay, we got Pommel. It's perfect for this situation. Can I pull? Pommel is actually really good for this guy. Wait, is it? Nah, the more damage I do, the more strength he loses. This is only do 15 damage. Oof. Well, then again, I do have spike the, spot the weakness. Gotta keep that in mind. So let's spot the weakness. To a shrug it off. Into a dual wield on Pommel. That's doing a lot more damage than one. Now you're doing no damage to me, Buster. Honestly, can I Berserk? Should I Berserk? Push comes a Sherv. Push comes a Shove, I weakness him. I mean, I should have Berserked the last time. Oh, he's doing... I don't know how, but he's doing one damage? For some re weird reason. It's fine with me, though. I'm gonna keep applying weakness to you, Buster. Take that, buddy. Take this too, buddy. Pommel strike. <gasps> Can I kill him? Probably not. 822 damage with a whirlwind. I mean, the possibility is there. Never deny the possibility. Greatness. Never deny. The possibility. Huh. 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 Now I just need to survive this round. Oh, no hits, by the way. Offering coming in clutch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that strength. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're dying. You're dying, you're dying, you're dying. I'm killing him. 666 health, five whirlwinds. With a five pipper. With a five pipper. A five pipper. Starting off. Wait, do I have 50% more? 25%. Damn it. Wait, we can just no. Damn it. I don't have a weakness on him. Damn it. Whatever. Alright. Strike. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Two, four. Two, four. Two, four. Not enough. Womp womp. 
That's fine, though. Fear potion. Yeah, I'll discard this for that. A heavy blade? Actually? Sure. I'll take that. Why not? And at the campfire, I'm just going to rest. Get my full health back up. Feel no pain. Remember, card is exhausted. Gain three block. Do I even exhaust cards for real? I guess intimidate. Offering. Reaper. Okay, maybe I do exhaust cards. Kind of. Nah. I don't want it. I don't care enough. All right, time warp. Buster. Let me get 32 damage on my brain. Are you insane, my friend? I'm gonna get rid of these two. We can intimidate this guy and pull some stuff out of our asses. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Be intimidated. Actually, I could just not take this damage on this first round and pull this battle trance and not pull this offering. Maybe I get something good out of battle trance. Let's see. An apothesis. That's pretty good. A berserk is pretty good since I'm not taking damage. Um, I can't really do damage here though, so that's a thing. Unless I choose a card that gives me damage. Bash? You know what? Sure. We can flex into a big bash for a little bit more vulnerability. We pretty much set ourselves up pretty nicely, I think. Pretty nicely. Let's, uh, you know what? We're gonna headbutt you too. And I'm gonna pull out another battle trance just in case. What's the time thing, dude? Whenever you play 12 cards, end your turn and gains two strength. You hate this boss? How come? Because of the amount of strength he gains over time? Huh. I'm, I don't like how I just drew four cards and that was it. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, the turn ending thing. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so I only have five cards to pull out my bun. So, I mean, we might as well battle trance. Spot the weakness. Bro, heavy blade, a 39 hitter. Would not be bad. I can do a lot of damage here. It's vulnerable, this dude. I could do a lot of damage here. We can heavy pummel twin strike whirlwind. But I'm also at nine, so I can only pull three cards out. That sucks. Three cards. Well, we already know Whirlwind's doing a lot. That's like 35 damage. This is 24. So Pummel, we only do three. So Heavy Blade, Pummel, Whirlwind, I think, is probably the best play. Yeah. Ching, ching, ching. That was pretty nice damage. This is the worst shit I've ever seen. What is this? This ultra shitty. <laughs> you pulled my dual wheels, at, dual wheels at the worst possible time. The worst possible time. Give me something good here. I'll take the pummel strike, actually. I might even reaper you for real. Nah, you're getting heavy bladed. To infinity and beyond. Did I really just do- Oh my god, did I really just do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm pissed. I needed that heavy blade too. 80 something damage. Would've been so nice. I could dual wield this twin strike, I guess. Battle trance. I'm at nine. I gotta keep that in mind. I have to do a little twin strike. I can't even flex for real. Rip, right. I can only do three cards. One. And then two, two, two twin strikes, I guess. That's, that's pretty solid damage. Did he just heal? I know I did not just see this man heal. Oh my god, I didn't know he could heal. That sucks. Okay, I did not know he could heal.
Okay. I'm definitely taking 36 damage here. Maybe not. I have close line. Do I want a close line or do I just want to roll win this though? That's the question of the day. What, what else can I pull? My draw pal is empty. So if I pummel strike... I don't know. I'm trying to pull the freaking... Some, some dual wields on this freaking whirlwind right now. Do I close line just to deal, like, to, to take less than 36 damage here? I guess I could. You got this, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Small mistakes. Small mistakes. Small mistakes. Damn, I want a pummel strike just in case. I mean, I'll draw two cards. If I draw a heavy blade, that'll be goaded, though. Right? What am I getting? Reaper and strike. Son of a bitch. Um... I might as well close line. I have to close line for the three weakness. I close line into a world run, I think. But bro, that two pips would literally 62 damage versus 37. Maybe I bash. I don't know. Maybe I bash into a whirlwind for the 50% more damage. The close line is more survivability. I don't know if I choose survivability or do I choose a straight DPS? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Survivability or straight DPS? Ah, I think I'm gonna go survivability. I'm gonna be honest. My DPS isn't bad already. I have 23 strength. Do we really? I, I mean, I'm not killing him. From the 50%, like, where one is not, I mean, like, 50%, like, because that would be 2 to 1, 3, 3, 6, 9, 90 damage, plus 30, 40, like, 150 damage. So he's not going to die. I, actually, he might. Fuck it. He might die next round if I do that. Ah! I'm doing it. He might die next round. It's possible. Oh, yeah. There is no might. He's dying next round. He's dying next round. Heavy blade, 114 damage. But first, we must spot the weakness. Imagine that was my last round. Imagine I was at 12. <laughs> that would be horrible. I need to keep. I need to pay attention to this number. That could have been. That could have been it. Imagine I was at 12 and that was my last, and then like my turn ended and he killed me. <laughs> That would be horrific. You ready your blade? Attack! Whoop whoop. And I go to sleep. Good game! We beat Ascension number four. I'm happy about that. Man, Whirlwind carried so hard. Whirlwind and Chemical X carried us.